Hello team and welcome back to the channel. So before we start, I would recommend you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You will find tons of amazing hands-on videos with respect to DevOps and Cloud DevOps on this channel. Also, we are very close to 1 lakh subscribers. So make sure to subscribe to support us. Now, coming to today's topic, so today we are going to learn about what kind of projects and what exactly project we can put in our resume. Okay, and I'll be sharing with you two projects that you can definitely put in, uh, in your resume and explain them very well. Okay, I'll show you how to explain as well. Okay, also team on 14th of April, I'm conducting a live webinar on my website, a three tier ultimate real time DevOps project, where I'll be deploying a three tier application having front end, back end and a database, MySQL database. And I'll be showing you how it is getting connected. We'll be writing complete thing in live, setting up clusters and everything. Okay, so make sure to register. It is completely free. You can find the uh, link to register in the description. Okay, now. Let's talk about what kind of projects and what exactly is the project best suited to put in resume, right? I wanted to make this so that freshers can also benefit from this. Okay. Now, uh, in like during the, this video, I'll be giving you two projects which you can directly put in your resume, but make sure that you have implemented those as well. You can find the implementation on my channel. Okay. And I'll explain like why you need to put and how it is beneficial. Okay. So now let's talk about first first like in order to choose a project we should be choosing a project using which we can showcase usage and integration of multiple different tools for example if i have chosen this project then i'll be in the description i'll be writing what exactly i did and what tools i used with this project for example i need to make sure key i'm mentioning i used i deployed my application to kubernetes using docker right i used uh, build tools I used multiple security tools. I used like IAC to set up infrastructure. I used like post actions like sending notifications. Okay. I use uh, Git for like uh, managing my source code. So all these things, if you are able to show with a show with a single project, then it is much easier. Okay. Now, as a fresher, you know, you should not be focusing too much about project. Instead, what things you have done, what kind of task you have done those things you should be focusing more on okay now talking about first project that i would suggest highly recommend you that you can put in your resume okay so let me show you uh, first project so first project is definitely going to be this project which i'll be sharing by 14th of april you can take it out okay now why i'm saying ki why you should be using this project a three tier project okay so let me explain you that as well first project in your resume should be a three tier project okay now in three tier project we'll be having three main components of the project which will be like a front end maybe written in like node.js or something okay back end back end can be written in java python or any other specific language then we can be having database okay now while mentioning this project first you should be mentioning these things okay this is three tier project you can name anything okay task management or anything like that then focusing on main thing so first you'll mention into project description that uh, for um, like implementing this project i set up eks cluster okay using iac tool terraform okay if you are mentioning this because at this point uh, like terraform is one of the most widely used tool in companies so definitely mention that i have set up my eks cluster for deployment using terraform that is that will be showcasing your iac abilities okay Secondly, you can mention ki I set up tools like Jenkins as uh, tools like Jenkins, SonarCube, Nexus using Ansible scripts. Okay. Because, you know, uh, at this point in most of the companies, they are preferring the candidates who are having IAC knowledge. If you are having Terraform and Ansible knowledge, it's the best thing. So these two things you can mention or uh, if they ask, okay, how did you use ISA? You can mention I use Terraform for provisioning my EKS cluster. And then I used Ansible scripts or Ansible playbooks to uh, set up like Jenkins, SonarCube, Nexus on my, uh, on my, you can say key on my specific uh, like virtual machines. Okay. Coming to third point, you should mention that, okay, I was using Git to store my source code on GitHub. Okay. I was using Git to manage my source code on GitHub. After that, you can mention I was using build tools. Okay. In build tools, you can mention as per the project. If you are using like Python or like Java based, you can mention you, are, you can mention Maven for Java. 
then you can mention node.js for node.js so like that you can mention okay i used build tools to package my application so that we can get the uh, executable application artifact okay after that you can mention ki uh, after that uh, we used sonar cube we used trivi as a part of our security aspect of our, our project so that we can secure our project from bugs as well as from the common vulnerable like uh, common, uh, commonly known vulnerab vulnerabilities that are uh, like available in the market these things you can mention okay coming to next point so next you can mention i was using nexus for storing the artifacts okay you see the reason that i am explaining all these things because same things i used to mention in my resume why because using one single project you can showcase your abilities that you have knowledge with all the tools which is very important okay after nexus you can mention ki once we have artifact i was using docker to build the docker image of the application and push it to uh, docker repo okay then then you can mention ki after that what i did i was uh, all these things you were doing inside jenkins so i you can mention ki i used jenkins for creating the pipelines in groovy language okay jenkins or with whichever ci cd tool that you have that you want to mention you can uh, like note uh, write it down yeah jenkins or like uh, gitlab ci cd github actions azure or anything else okay coming to next so after that you can mention i used a kubernetes cluster which was created uh, which was created on aws in the form of eks using terraform so i deployed my application on eks you can mention this finally you can mention ki i also set up monitoring for monitoring my applications like system level uh, application system level uh, metrics okay and website level metrics okay so this will be your first project that you need to mention in your resume okay best part is that it's not just for a fresher it can be also added for like a experienced person that is the best part of this project okay now this will be the first project that you will be adding now initially i said ki you should be adding two projects right but actually i just something came into my mind that i can suggest you to add three okay but the thing is ki uh, freshers are not supposed to create very long resume so try to create resume maximum like uh, if, if everything comes in one page it's best if not go max to max uh, like two pages that's all right now talking about second this is the first project that i i showcased you right uh, like hold uh, proper uh, implementation of this project will be coming very soon okay so this project you can mention having front end back end database and these things you can mention in your project ki these are the certain things that i used uh, in my project okay talking about second project so second project let me show you first so this is as of now it's private but yeah let me explain you so there are you know micro service uh, uh, projects also uh, existing that like each component each specific functionality based component will be separate okay and they can be independently deployed to the cluster okay so what i have done this project i'll be creating a detailed video on this uh, multiple i don't know how long that video will be you can see here for each branch i have created a separate microservice component of the project okay that's why what i can do i can i'm keeping the uh, source code for each section separately in different branch okay benefit of that it will be that ki i can build each component separately okay second thing let me show you i just implemented today i just put it in my telegram group i hope you are already joined that if not make sure to join you will find tons of amazing support here there are so many senior members if you are facing any issues or anything you can just put it here okay so you can see uh, using a multi branch pipeline in jenkins i created multiple ci pipelines okay so coming back here talking about a uh, second project that you can add is going to be microservice project now this microservice project you can add it will be having multiple components and for each component there will be one branch in your repository and for each branch we are going to have a pipeline okay now let's say uh, that project that i just showed you it is having 11 microservice component okay that means we are going to have 11 separate pipelines okay whose target is to build the build that specific component and create the docker image which we can use in our deployment process that means we'll be having docker image and you know benefit of microservice project is that ki you don't need to build each of the project every time each of the component every time let's say ki uh, let me explain you 
let's say ki uh, i have this like multiple components i have like add service cart service checkout service so and so let's say i just made i want to modify or add some features to my email service component so here i will write the source code and just build this section and deploy this section okay benefit will be that ki other the features other components that we have they are not going to get affected okay and that is the best part ki every component you can separately build and deploy that is the best part okay i'll be making detailed video on this you'll be uh, you'll, you will be loving it trust me okay so now how you can uh, like uh, like you add it with some name let's say like e-commerce or something you can mention okay for experienced people like there are multiple projects existing in companies uh, microservice based like there was one project in one of my uh, company where uh, actually we wanted to provide services whatever service you used to give so that was deployed through a website okay and that website was made up of multiple microservice component uh, similar to this for which uh, like we were having each comp each microservice component separate pipeline okay so yeah that you can add so here uh, what you need to define in our description of the project first we use jenkins multi branch usage to create like 12 pipelines okay 12 pipelines out of which 11 will be ci pipeline and one will be cd pipeline okay secondly we automated everything using webhooks so that manual effort is reduced okay after that you can mention that we uh, build each component using the different build tools which were defined in our uh, pipelines okay after that you can mention we use docker to build our docker image and push it to uh, docker repo okay then you can mention that we were using trivi to scan the docker image okay for security reasons and finally you can mention we used kubernetes cluster to deploy the application okay for kubernetes you can mention that we set it up like eks so if you are using eks you can mention iec also okay i see i used terraform similar to the previous project that i showed and i used ansible also okay now the thing is you know if you are adding these two projects it will be more than enough for for you to convince an interviewer that you have really huge amount of knowledge with devops okay so these two projects are like you can mention talking about one more project that is optional for those who are also into cloud okay because at this point uh, cloud is also very much in uh, like form okay so let's say let's talk about azure or aws like whichever is your uh, you have knowledge in you can use that in that you can mention let's say uh, again let's talk about you can mention microservice uh, project okay project name see that is like up to you what project you want to add that is like completely whichever you have worked on that you can add right so for microservice you can mention key here what i did i used azure repo for storing the source code in aws you can mention code commit there is a section like code commit where you can store source code secondly you can mention key uh, we have azure pipelines to uh, like writing the ci and cd part here we have i think uh, code pipeline we have or something like that i do not see i don't work much with aws just for infra reasons i work okay talking to next thing you can mention ki uh, you uh, you used like different build tools like maven uh, then node.js and much more okay that you can mention okay talking to next so in azure we have a section which is known as azure artifact okay which can be used to store our artifacts so that you can mention after that here you can mention uh, we have like code artifact in a aws okay after that here what you can mention in after azure uh, artifact you can mention if we use docker to store our source code inside acr which is azure container registry in aws you have ecr okay then you can mention ki we used uh, virtual machines of uh, az virtual machines uh, for like creating different resources like setting up uh, uh, like agents for building our applications for aws you can mention like we have ec2 uh, for working with virtual machines here you can mention then we de created like eks cluster azure kubernetes cluster in a aws we have eks okay and then we have deployed okay so even though this this, this seems like a very uh, small project but just now more than one you can see one two three four five six seven multiple more than five resources most important resources we have added here which will showcase that you have really good knowledge in 
cloud also right so now uh, like summarizing everything to so three projects i can give you uh, that you can add you can but make sure if you should be implementing it first okay first the first project that i would suggest is a three tier project multi tier project you can say front end back end database which will showcase your uh, knowledge in how you are co uh, like combining database connecting multiple like components right and here you can mention these things ki these are the tools that i have used or uh, worked with and i have knowledge working with these tools secondly you can mention a microservice based project which I, these are these projects will be available uh, very soon on my repository you can just work with them okay where you can showcase your uh, like how you are handling microservice based projects multiple components you can each component you can build separately deploy separately so it's like really useful secondly if you have knowledge in cloud also uh, which i highly recommend that you should be uh, like having knowledge in cloud or learning cloud you can mention microservice project with same microservice project you can put here mention these are the resources that are used for the same reasons okay so these things you can do and yeah again team just to let you know uh, my batch 5 is going to start very soon where you will have real time knowledge how things happen in companies everything you know recently like as of at this point i handle like more than 30 projects and i get to see lot of real time things for example like uh, recently i was working in a project where i got to know ki what is the size of like aks cluster what is the size of each worker node right oh, uh, how much ram how much cpu how much ports are supposed to be created on one worker node so these are you know real time knowledge that i try to share in my courses so if you are interested you can just ping me i'll let you know more details okay meanwhile uh, just keep supporting team so that i can keep bringing out more and more videos to you okay so yeah that's all for today and thanks for watching have a nice day team